So the favorite part of this song is this one. All I need is hash, just hang around and you'll see there's not a right to be if you love me, trust in me the way I trust in you. Like the hush, 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 just hang around and you'll see. That's power. That's a real artist. Today we're gonna we're gonna talk about how I learned English. Um, I'm gonna tell you about what happened after enlightenment. That's how I called it. And then we're gonna awake curiosity, and then we're going to imagine what I mean. We're going to talk about that later. And then where I'm going to talk about immediate and future longings. And how uh, I forced myself to speak even if I committed a mistake. Even if I made mistakes, yeah. Um, so I forced myself to speak even if I made mistakes. So taking risks from the beginning. I exposed myself, I exposed myself to an English environment. And I'm going to be telling you about the first time that I talked to a native person. Actually, there were like three. Like, yeah. I'm going to be telling you later. Um, and then we're going to talk about myself. Link personal life. Mm. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to talk about linking, like personal likes. Um, Two different tasks. What does it mean, Sebastian? I don't understand anything. Yeah. No worry, I'm gonna tell you. Um, make a list of words you like and also teach what you have learned. Let's begin. So why did I call after enlightenment? Um, basically it was it was because I finally I finally realized that I just loved communication and that I just loved um, yeah like conveying a message and um, that's that I mean when that happened my brain just blow up but um, that happened because I mean what, what was like that 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 trigger that that made that was the travel the trick of my of my of my own that I told you in this video and um, to England and after she came I already talked talk about this so if you want to know the story of the enlightenment please go and watch this video first so it was like an enlightenment it was like wow English explodes into my mind but, and I just start like again I already told you like what did I do I start like basically studying on my own, uh, creating my own method, and well, I promise I'll be I'll be telling you what was my method about. Uh, but it was just it was quite quite basic, nothing nothing more, nothing complicated. Um, and then there's something that it says awake curiosity. So basically, it's like thinking, like making yourself like some questions like what if how can I how can I say uh, what would I say yeah so for example when I was uh, when I was learning English like at, at school when I was in fourth grade fifth grade no it the enlightenment was in when I was in fifth grade again I got, got to remember um and um, I started just that that is part of my method so I just started like thinking how can I say? Like, be really curious about language, and I'm just asking, hey, how can I say this? Uh, what if, what if I write something? What if I just uh, raise my hand and ask, and ask something in English to my teacher in the middle of a class? Because <laughs> that that's what I did. I mean, no matter if all of my of my classmates were, were laughing at me, they were like, oh my god, they they they, they call, um, well. Anyways, uh, but that was something I did. I mean, and even if I didn't, I didn't know how to ask that properly or correctly. I just tried my best to do that, to do like to to communicate myself in English. 
So, mm, yeah, I, I did that. So, mm, what if? What if? What if? What, what else? How, 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 what, what, what can you do with those questions? What would I say? Mm, what would I say? That's something that, that you would really like to, to, like to tell somebody or to say. To say, uh, I don't know. Perhaps you, you like someone and you just want to tell him or her that you liked her or her. Quite interesting. So how, how would you surprise that person? Uh, I guess, I don't know. Uh, it was not something that happened to me. Like trying to surprise some, someone like speaking English. No, I haven't, I haven't experienced that. But I guess it's like something you can try. Um, and then uh, imagine. So, what well, not imagining? How would you imagine, or how do you imagine your, your life in the future? How do you like picture yourself in the future? Mm, that was something I, I also did. Mm, when I was at school, I remember. All, all, I mean, like, it was really clear to me that I was going to be an actor, that I was going to be an artist. I don't know if an actor, but, but at least an artist. Um, because I didn't want, I mean, I, I wasn't sure about if I was going to be an actor, a musician. Uh, so I, I just know, I just knew that I loved stage acting and performing and dancing and all this stuff. So, I definitely like picture myself being on stage, and then that was that was recently. I mean, that was that was not something I didn't have my life such planned that I just thought about that at that time. But uh, I mean, when I was in like fifth grade and primary school, I already knew that I was going to be an artist or product. And um, then, well, there was recently, there was like, there was like, um, let's say, ten years ago that I, that I, I said to myself like, hey, I want to become a bilingual actor. I want to become like a, um, I want to, I want to teach something. I want, I, I don't want to be like famous just because, just because I'm an actor and I'm a really well-known actor because of my obvious talent, as 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 Krill the Bill. Told Anita, like despite your, despite you're not too social. No, look, that was like you're not social. I, I don't see you social, do I? Um, despite your obvious talents, <laughs> I love that. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend for you to see that. In uh, <laughs> how did I perform as, or how did I, how did I play um, Cruella de Vil? But anyways. Um, so, this is something I thought about like 10 years ago almost, let's say, around 10 years ago. And yeah, I, I want to teach, I want to teach, to teach something, I wanted to, like to relate, like to, to, to um, link again, language and, um, and, and art and acting. So, I did what I did. Gonna be telling you later how I did I do. Immediate and future longings. Okay, so immediate longing would be like traveling, like this quarantine ends like now and for all. I don't want. Even, I don't want to talk. I don't want to even talk about. Um, the quantum. But anyways, we're happy. We're happy people. So, anyways. Um. Uh, well, yeah, that would be like immediate longing. Something I really want. Something I desire. Mm, and future longings. What would be my future desires? Well, having like a huge theater company and traveling around the world. I promise that if I achieve that, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, what I would do, but 
I will do something really, really huge, like something really big. And I love the possibility of sharing something with, with as, as much as I can. Um, so that that's something I really would like to to have, like a really huge company, theatre company, and. Yeah, that's something I've, I've, I've thought about. Also, what other things, like future longings? I haven't, I haven't, like, thought about, like, buying a house or having, having a big house or something. I would like to, but it's not, like, something I really desire. I mean, if, if I manage to, to buy one day, like, a really good house and like in the countryside or something I would love it um, but it's not something that I really like I'm dying for having a house in the countryside no it's not something I like it um, what are the thing I would like to learn another language like besides English and Spanish I like to learn I thought about French actually um, at school I also they also taught us like French, English, and Spanish all the same time. It was it was really hard, but I learned. Also, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I don't know, I don't know like much French, so I would like to. Uh, I just like to say something like um, Moulin Rouge, Le, Le Petit Chaperon Rouge. That's a, that's a book that we read in when I was in primary school. Uh, it's, it was just a short story. It was not like a huge book, but it was a short a short story. That is the um, the lady with the red hoodie, or the lady I don't know how you call that in English. Like the lady, little red riding hood. Um, so it's le, le petit chaperon rouge. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it like correctly. Anyways, um, and then there's another, another. I mean, another artist that built my childhood, and she was uh, Edith Piaf. Why? Because my my mom used to play it when I was when I was about to go to bed, and uh, and I heard it and I loved it. No, I, uh, I never could do this, like the the throat thing. Uh, 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 uh. I I really suffer with that. I struggle with that because uh, there's something I really like, and I I I've heard that it's not proper Spanish. It's not proper French. She was really criticized because it's supposed that she spoke like. Uh, Mm, let's say not very correct French. I don't know that much about that, but I've heard that she was criticized but because of that. But I loved it. I loved the. Uh, uh, sometimes I can do it, but sometimes I just can't. Mm, uh, uh, mm, it's like Kiko. <laughs> This is one of my favorite songs, songs by by Edith Piaf, but other but there's another one that I really love, and it's called La Foule, La Foule, La Foule, which means the crowd, and I love that thing. I love it, and the same. I mean, again, with music, the music. We learn, we, we can learn a new, a new language. And you learn about the culture, and, and you learn about like feeling, fr feeling French. How, how is it like feel, being French? And it talks about, I, what, when, you, when you listen to this, you can imagine the, the, like the, the epoch, like, the, um, like the, the age. Well, how was French at that time? Je 
Et j'entends dans la musique les cris et les rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr